A lot has been made about the dangers of first and second hand smoke, but what about third hand smoke? Do you even really know what it is and how to protect your family? We're joined now by Angela Brumley Shelton, tobacco coordinator at the Lexington Fayette County Health Department. Glad you're here. We, this is an important topic to learn more about third hand smoke. It is, and um, not a whole lot of people know about it, is, one of, is what we found. Mm -hmm. Angela, you were saying that, I mean, this is basically smoke that is carried to some other place in some way, right? It is. Um, most people all know what secondhand smoke is, mm -hmm. but what they don't kind of understand is that secondhand smoke has a lot of particulates in it and a lot of chemicals. A cigarette has over 7,000 chemicals in it, and when it's smoked, those chemicals don't go away. And some of the things that are in it actually fall, and they fall on uh, clothes, carpet, hair, skin. And they stay there, and they're still dangerous. Meaning that you could then, uh, I mean, like let's say a child goes off to school who lives in a, a home with smokers. Right. You're taking that off to school with you? Right. And it stays on the child's um, skin, clothes, backpacks, um, those kinds of things. It's, it's everywhere if the child or even adults are in an area or, or in a home where someone has been smoking. Well, you can just imagine how many times you could come in contact with it. What are some ways, though, that parents can help protect their children from this? Well, one of the things that we've been concentrating on is really small children, and mm -hmm. especially babies and toddlers, um, kids that crawl around, because what happens is that's where the highest concentration of the chemicals is. And um, the greatest thing, of course, is that anybody who can, we would want them to stop smoking. That's the best thing. If that's not really going to happen, they're not ready to do that, then the uh, second best thing they can do is to establish a smoke-free home. And that means that absolutely no one, um, grandma, parent, nobody, visitors, nobody smokes in the home. They go outside to smoke. And that also extends to the car, meaning you never smoke anywhere where the child is around. Well, there's a project to recognize child care facilities that are 100% smoke-free. How do they achieve that? Well, there is. We've been working on this for a couple of years. And so what we're doing at the health department is we have a team and we're working with a lot of the child care centers and the employees and doing a lot of education and working with them. And we've had a really good response. A lot of them are changing their policies and saying, okay, we're going to go smoke free now. And so we're keeping a list of those child care centers. We're going to have it at the health department. It's going to be on our website. And that list we're very ha happy to say is growing. And so we're making that list available to the public so parents will know which child care centers are 100% smoke free. People just call to find out? Sure, you can just call or you can go to our website. Very All right. good. And there you'll find uh, other resources if people want to quit smoking or, or more information about Those resources will always risk. be there. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for coming. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it.